Imagine this. You walk into your home, and standing quietly by the counter is a sleek, humanoid figure. It's not breathing, not blinking, but it turns its head toward you like it knows you're there. It doesn't just look futuristic, it is the future. And it's here. Elon Musk has officially revealed the Tesla Optimus V3. This isn't a sketch, a concept, or a clunky prototype. This is a robot that's almost ready to enter homes and factories around the world. Tesla has already spent over a billion dollars in 2024 alone developing it. And now, they've reached a point where the bot is no longer a dream, it's a product. So what's so special about Optimus V3? Why does this version matter more than the ones before? Let's start with its design. The new Optimus doesn't have a face in the way we'd expect. Instead, its head is covered with a glossy black visor that stretches from ear to ear. It's polished and intimidating, like something from a science fiction movie. But it's not just for looks. Hidden beneath that glass are sensors and cameras that can take in a thousand images every second. That kind of processing power is what allows it to navigate the real world with precision, seeing everything around it in real time and making decisions on the fly. Unlike the previous generation, which still had visible seams and a rougher, more prototype-like build, V3 is smooth. The head blends into the neck without gaps. Tesla clearly focused on eliminating anything that could break or wear down easily. The visor itself may be built from a special impact-resistant material, possibly a composite similar to what's used in advanced smartphone screens. It's curved to reduce glare, doesn't reflect light like a mirror, and protects the vision systems inside from damage. Internally, the robot uses the same kind of image sensors found in Tesla's full self-driving systems, giving it high-resolution, 360-degree awareness. This is the kind of hardware usually reserved for self-driving vehicles. But now, it's been fitted into a walking, talking humanoid. And speaking of walking, Optimus has come a long way in terms of movement. It can now walk at speeds up to 5 feet per second, which is close to a typical human walking pace. It's no longer dragging its feet or moving like a machine from the 90s. In recent demonstrations, it even climbed stairs smoothly, something very few humanoid robots can manage. That tells us a lot about how well its joints, balance, and real-time perception are working together. But what might be even more impressive than its ability to walk is how it reacts. Optimus doesn't just see the world, it responds to it. During live testing, when someone walked in front of the robot or dropped an object nearby, Optimus didn't freeze up. It adjusted. Sometimes it paused, sometimes it reached out to catch something falling. It reacts in about 100 to 200 milliseconds, which is about the same speed as human reflexes. That kind of response time isn't common even in the world of robotics. Now let's talk about power. One of the major breakthroughs in this version is its battery system. Optimus V3 uses Tesla's new generation 4,680 battery cells. These are smaller, lighter, and hold more energy than the older ones used in previous versions. The result? The robot can operate for up to 10 hours on a single charge. And get this, it only takes 10 minutes to fully recharge. But the story doesn't end there. Optimus doesn't need anyone to plug it in. It can find its charger, align itself, and connect automatically. It charges itself, then gets back to work, no human involved. That level of autonomy is a huge leap forward. In fact, it's one of the key reasons Elon Musk believes this robot could one day help build outposts on Mars. See, Tesla's long-term vision isn't just about Earth. On a planet like Mars, where GPS doesn't exist and terrain is rough, Having a robot that can learn on the go, navigate visually, and power itself could be a game-changer. Optimus doesn't need satellites. It uses visual landmarks and real-time image processing. Combine that with its rugged body and ability to work in heat, dust, and cold, and suddenly, sending it to another planet doesn't sound so far-fetched. Back on Earth, though, the robot is already showing its potential. In testing, it's able to lift up to 44 pounds about the weight of a heavy backpack or a bag of cement. That might not seem impressive compared to industrial machines, but Optimus is built to work next to people. It's light, standing at just 125 pounds, and it moves slowly and deliberately. That makes it safer to have in homes, warehouses, 
or even around kids and elderly folks. But here's the thing that really sets it apart, learning. Optimus doesn't have to be programmed line by line like traditional machines. Show it a video of someone folding laundry and it learns. Show it how to pour coffee and it remembers. Even more wild. It can simulate the task millions of times in a virtual environment until it gets it right. It doesn't just memorize steps. It understands patterns, corrects mistakes, and improves. And once one optimist learns something, all the others learn it too. Through a shared network, any skill picked up by one robot is instantly available to all others. This means the more robots in use, the smarter the whole system becomes, exponentially. Tesla's already deploying early models in its own factories, and they're performing real tasks, moving materials, sorting parts, even assisting on the production lines. The results so far show they can work longer and more consistently than human workers without needing breaks, rest, or supervision. What about at home? Tesla has shared footage of Optimus doing things like watering plants, picking up toys, wiping down kitchen counters, and even carrying grocery bags inside from the car. It's designed not just as a tool, but as a companion. It can talk, respond to gestures, and adapt to your preferences. Point to something on the floor and it'll pick it up. Wave toward the sink and it'll clean the dishes. Its hands are crafted with tendon-like actuators, built to move like human fingers. They're precise enough to fold a shirt but strong enough to carry a full pot of water. There are still concerns about hygiene, especially for tasks like cooking after handling trash. But Tesla seems to be thinking ahead. The materials used in its construction are resistant to bacteria, water, and cleaning agents. This suggests that cleaning routines could easily be built in. The interface is also user-friendly. No complex software, no coding. Just show the robot what to do. You don't need to be a tech expert to live with one. Pricing is also shifting from the impossible to the imaginable. Tesla is planning to roll out Optimus to early adopters at a price of around $35,000, with the goal of dropping below $20,000 as production scales up. That's less than some new cars and within reach for many households, especially when you think about what the robot can do. Whether it's loading boxes, cooking dinner, or checking on livestock, Optimus is slowly positioning itself as more than just a gadget. It's a workforce in a box. It doesn't just do tasks, it learns, adapts, and evolves with you. And this is just the beginning. Musk has hinted that the next version of Optimus will be even faster, stronger, and smarter. The kind of machine that doesn't just live in the background, but actively shapes the future of how we live and work. So if you thought the robot revolution was decades away, think again. Tesla's not waiting.